It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ein Seidler Brewery and it's a bottle of their Doppelbock. It's coming in at a mammoth 7.8% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Here is a look at the bottle cap. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Sebastian in Germany for sending me these wonderful, wonderful beers. Without further ado then, uh, Einseidler Brewery has been brewing beer in Germany since 1885. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I'm using this, this glass, it's a long kind of slightly vice beery kind of style glass. Um, it has got a widget. So I'm going to pour this very slowly. I don't want to create too much of a head. But I was looking at my glassware collection and I was thinking which glass would suit this beer. And judging by my beautiful Beer Rift glass, I'm a big fan of this brewery. I've got great friends down at Beer Rift down in West Wales. I fancied it. And it's worked out a treat. Look at that. Uh, two finger tan coloured head. It's a very dark looking beer. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Fantastic carbonation. Fantastic carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. A deep kind of cherry red colour. Beautiful, beautiful looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That beautiful that we got some on the end of our nose. Do you know that beer sent me into a trance then for a moment um, until I put my nose into the beer and I was like, oh, where are we? Ah, we're here. I better get on with my beer review. Um, I love a beer that, that spawns memories. And this beer just spawned a memory then and I was just kind of in the middle of nowhere for a moment. It's roasty, toasty, biscuity, bready, nutty. Hoppy. Hops come in like a dark mixed fruit jam. I gotta dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Got to put that down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. Absolutely terrific. Malty, chewy, biscuity, bready, nutty. Oh my goodness me. It is so good. It is such a good beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Ah, oh, my goodness me. Oh, it makes me rub my hands together in excitement. Ah. Oh. I wish we had this. We have 
regional breweries as we like to call them in the UK. We do have these regional breweries and they are as old and you know the same age and sometimes older than, than these wonderful German breweries but a lot of them have lost their way. I never wanted to turn this into a British regional brewery rant video but I'm going to for a moment because it does slightly annoy me. Why can't our regional brewers who have been brewing beers for hundreds of years, why can't they produce absolutely terrific beers at, at, at 6, 7, 8% ABV? Why has it always got to be about brewing these 4%, 4.5% bitters that, that, that they see their sales declining year after year and craft beer is just growing and growing and growing and they just can't seem to do anything about it. My suggestion, I'm going to be quick with this because I want to concentrate on this particular beer. I don't want to concentrate too much on on how poor the, the, the British regional brewers are. But just go back in your backlog. Go through. I, I've been to a lot of these regional breweries in the UK and they, and they keep boasting about their incredible records. Um, they have these records of these old beer styles that that they have and and they could use at any time and and you know this fantastic history these logs these these beer records these beer logs the only way these breweries for me can save themselves is to go back through these logs and and just start producing good decent stronger premium ales again and 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 being a bock this is this is technically technically a lager but go back, learn from your German compatriots that you must, you must, what's the word? Acknowledge your history, acknowledge that your breweries are hundreds of years old and you have these records and, and just use them, use them to your advantage. One more thing, and I promise I'll change the record. It's the reason I think that the German craft beer scene cannot really get off the ground. Number one is probably Reich Heischabot, which I totally understand. Number two is they've got such a gr great beer pedigree and such great beers out there anyway that the, the craft beer scene will probably struggle to find a dent in the German market because because they've already got such great beer and if the British regional breweries are to survive then they need to look to their German brothers to see what they're doing, to see what beers they're producing, to, to, to use their heritage as an advantage for them and start producing excellent beer like this. I'm going to move on, I'm going to change the record, I'm going to turn the page because um, this beer is terrific, it really is terrific and it deserves all of the, all of the splendour I'm about to give it. Biscuity, bready, nutty, slight toffee notes, slight raisin flavours, a nice amount of bitterness on the back end. It's perfectly balanced with the malts, the little bit of sweet malt over there, the bitterness on the back end. This is absolutely incredible, incredible beer. Incredible beer. The creamy mouthfeel. Not with lactose, not with oats, just with malt, just with malt. You can, you can create a creamy, rich mouthfeel with, with great quality malts. It staggers me. It staggers me to, 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 to think that 
we are over here in the UK in the situation where we are where our regional breweries that the history of is about to flip and change and, uh, and, and, and uh, it never in the UK we never recovered we never got out of ration we started rationing our beers and, and, and making them at 4% ABV because we didn't have enough malt in the country and we never got out of the rut we never got out of that rut of producing premium ale again and I find it disturbing and shocking that 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 we're in that situation. This is superb beer. Absolutely superb beer. Um, Einsiedler Doppelbock. Um, there's a, there's a, well, there's a little drop left. I'm not going to waste any of this. It's like liquid nectar. Um, it's all in German on the back of the bottle, but I am going to read in English. Um, because the wonderful Sebastian in Germany has, has printed off a nice sheet of um, paper for me. So the Freiburger Brewery, they've been brewing since 18... Wrong one. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, start again. The Einseidler Brewery is a private brewery since 1885. About the same age as when they built this house. So the industrial industrial revolution was 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 going about the whole of Europe um, at about the same time. Uh, they're based in Chemnitz in Germany. Um, on the back of the bottle, then it says a silky black with a slightly shimmer of mahogany and a pullant caramel coloured foam and notes of roasted malt and raw coffee. Our Doppelbock delights the palate, the strong roasted tones and the slight sweetness of cocoa enhance the senses and makes our handcrafted Doppelbock a special kind of strong beer. And the ingredients, and get this, get this, brewing water, barley malt, hops and of course yeast. No cacao, no oats, no lactose, no fruit purees, no, you know. <sighs> this is a beautiful, beautiful beer. It's a, be it's a work of art. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful beer. Look at it. Look at it. It's incredible. Rating. Looks good, smells good, tastes incredible. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.